Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. Embryo has made himself known with his little boss platform. Kind of like the blimp, except we don't take a magic carpet ride to reach Dr. Neo Cortex at Crash Bandicoot 1. We will need some aerodynamic cr uh, crossing of the ravine going out. Now let's check out some of our unlocked skins. Mm, yes, while we totally tubular. Marsupi While we are like uh, 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 erectus, <laughs> those thick eyebrows. And serious upgrade. Honestly, and we're gonna go I'll, with. I'll actually like the uh, serious upgrade cyborg. I think the totally tubular is actually one of Coco's best costumes. You know, sometimes these levels are really smooth and expedient. We're dragging on in this another Oriental themed level where we use Akano's super magical spinning properties to destroy green magic and traverse the environment with the greatest of ease. <laughs> the smiley turnip. I cannot believe I actually missed the little smiley turnip. Like, hey, good luck. Good to see ya. Don't die now or you'll make me sad. Alright, so how we... many boxes are, th are in this uh, level, Mr. Cloud? Quite a few. I think it tops 150. You'll notice that quite a bit about Crash Bandicoot 4 levels is that they'll, you know, you, th you would think that Cold Hard Crash in Crash Bandicoot 2 is a stretch with 155. You'll be no, pushing the no. 200 mark quite a bit. Yeah, cra uh, Crash 4 has got several levels that have over 200 boxes in them. It is nuts. It's about time you got the box gem. Oh boy. I'm gonna get you, spooky potion speaking man. Wait for it. Nice. Oh, now we get to see the Guang. Obviously, they're setting you up to, uh, Wait your turn. Yeah. Don't go running into danger quite so quickly. Now, can Akano, sp uh, can Akano spin actually deflect the, uh... Oh, you're not allowed to try it yet. Okay. Even with Akano spin, you are, you are supposed to time your jumps around the gong swings. It does not offer protection. Oh, uh, that is weird, because it, uh, it, it specifically does have the, uh the green magic properties and we were told that you know the dark matter spin does reflect green magic huh. it does i guess we're getting tricked <laughs> kind of like how embryo is telling us over and over again about this great reward gets you all excited no instead what you get is a boss battle and go now, what are we supposed to be using the Econo magic for? Yeah, we're, we're using it specific, here specifically as an as a platforming extension. Platforming extension and also smashing through steel crates. Which, before Crash Bandicoot 4, that would have been an intraversible <laughs> obstacle while also all but precluding you from getting the box gem. Because it is a dick move to put a steel crate over a bottomless pit. <laughs> That Ooh. was weird that you actually got uh, got to, to take both of those out because we were we've um, um been trying to deal with those uh those uh, Shishui alliance already and um and uh, they uh, we tend to get repulsed by them uh, if we attack them in front. Right. Well, we got our, the well, first Wampa gem. Yeah. Well, the uh, green magic dragons will have no effect on us. Careful. Oh, great aerial maneuver. Yeah, not that great, honestly. Like, it, it very clearly wants you to, uh, uh, bounce, uh, bounce on the, uh, bounce on the top crate, bounce, uh, bounce on the second, and then use, a, and then use a Kano in order to, uh, in order to, uh, uh, take out the final one. Now watch out for the bouncy dragons. They're on a fixed route. As early as Crash Bandicoot 1, we've had to learn how to get around creatures that are moving in specific intervals like it's their job. Mm. 
to be perfectly honest, the I I always remember uh, the the Turtle Woods uh, style of uh, enemy placement. Uh, for when it comes to crash when it comes to crash enemies. I don't, really, I don't really remember most of the other uh, uh, styles of enemy placement that Crash plays with, though. Like, this style right here was most certainly in Crash 3, but I don't remember where. Uh, you might be thinking of the Pura levels when you're playing, when you're riding Pura as Coco. Did the dragons ever actually do the, um, the circular thing? They did. They did do the circular thing. That honestly, that's probably what they're referring to. Except now, instead of riding Pura through the levels, now you're just going through as Coco or or Crash as you see fit. Very good. Save those boxes for another checkpoint. Now, after an unspeakably large number of retries at this bonus stage, we'll show you how it's done. Because they actually let us use a Kano during this bonus stage. Alright, so bounce on the DNT. Gotta time it. Yeah. Okay, good. Maneuvered then, around the dragon. Yep. So clearly there is going to be one of those. Yep, it's a nitro detonator. Now hit the detonator. Nitro boxes and explosives mm. cannot destroy steel crates, but Akano can. Mm, nice. Three, uh, four additional lives. Oh, this is actually on one of the smaller uh, box total levels at 139. And we have a almost... Smaller box total. Hey, it is a God. smaller one for this game. God help us. Mm, and we do already have two of the three Wumpa Gems, so... Maybe Crash there, 5 will... Wumpa uh, gems. Yay! Would you attempt a box gem? that had a 500 box requirement. Uh, the problem is I know that there is at least one of those in this game. Really? I, yeah, I think it's either 515 or 512. Jesus Christ. I, for, I forget which level it is, but... That's gotta be one of those levels where you just find like stacks and piles of boxes just everywhere and you have I some. Think it's Dingo, uh, is it Dingo Dials for. Oh, I'm not supposed to spoil that. Um, I think it's one of the guest characters' first levels, actually. Yeah, because some of the guest characters actually have a knack for taking out large volumes of boxes in a relatively small amount of time. Because, I mean, Jesus Christ, if I, th that was a graphical glitch there. Something about my video recorded does really does not like these gong guys. Okay. And go. You didn't go! Well, because the, the timing wasn't right. Now go. Except now you don't. Oh, okay. You you are actually able to make uh, make it to that to that platform. Jump, and jump again. Ah, uh, well, you could have gotten at least some lump of fruit if you hit the checkpoint box second. You got to think longevity. Yeah. Okay, cancel Akano. Jump on the TNT. But you didn't survive the dragon ride. A boogalaba. Having there to, uh, having to enable or cancel the mask is going to really challenge you in some of the late game levels. Yeah. Like, holy crap did they ramp up the difficulty right when it became uncomfortable. That'd be at a difficult moment. And 126 of 139. I'm yeah. sorry, Mr. Cloud. We came close. The point is, is that we're not gonna drag on in this level. You can always retry the level as you see fit, and you too will unlock that sweet Pur skin. Mm, it's called Persona. <laughs> Fursona. I'm pretty sure it's Persona here, but <laughs> because it's Pur. Yeah, Pur. Perfect. We're one step closer to that embryo boss battle. Mm. And in the next episode, we'll continue on with the or uh, with the Oriental area. So, are we doing uh, Tanya's timeline level, or are no? We're uh, actually continuing on into off balance. Huh. Uh, off balance. So, so this looks like a job for. Mm. 
letting the guy who's constantly off balance crash. Ha <laughs> ha. Be safe, everybody.